What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day listening to me. I really hope I can bring you some value with this video. Um, it's not meant to be a political video. I know like the facts over feelings thing, Ben Shapiro, he's a conservative guy. Uh, it's, this isn't meant to be a political video, but this saying does apply to what like my fitness content and pretty much everything else and I really wanted to touch on it because it really hits home with me and I really believe in this and I want to explain why and why you should as well. So hope I bring you some value. If I do, like, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get to it. So let's break down the facts don't care about your feeling argument. Pretty much what it says is that facts are independent of your feelings. No matter how you're feeling and, and what your opinions are, facts don't change. They're independent. They're facts. They're like the truth. Facts are the truth. That's what they're supposed to represent. They're supposed to re represent what is actually real and what is actually happening in a certain situation or whatever the case may be. It's a fact. It, it can't change. Even if it, you disagree with it, it's still there and it's still true. Now, your feelings or opinions are not necessarily true because they are not necessarily a fact. Your feelings could be a complete fact if you back it up with empirical data and whatnot, but it could be completely out there. You could have an opinion that is completely not true, but you, it's just an opinion. That's what I mean. It's, it's not necessarily true. It's just what you think is true. When there's clear facts there and you have an opinion that differs, your opinion is wrong. You can still have your opinion. Everyone's entitled to it, but it's not true. You get what I'm saying? Your opinion on something when there's a clear fact is not true. When your opinion is saying something completely different and then there's a fact that comes out and proves that your opinion is wrong, that's your opinion is not fact and therefore it's kind of invalid in that situation. If you're trying to say this is true with your opinion, but there's a literal fact that says otherwise, you have to always, always, always go with what's been proven by data and, and facts and, and science. It literally applies to everything in life. People have such strong opinions on stuff and that's okay. But when there's literally evidence and, and facts out there that contradict your opinion and people still go with their opinions and, and blow off facts, just ignore them. That's, that's just not true. That's not how life works. You, there's literally evidence here and you're ignoring it. And then you're trying to tell people your opinion is correct when there's literally evidence of the opposite. You can't do that. And that's, that's why so much misinformation is constantly spreading. So this happens all the time in nutrition. Let's say there's, there's multiple studies proving calories in calories out is how you lose weight. That's the science behind weight loss. You have to be in a calorie deficit, but there's still people out there despite all the facts, despite all the data that don't believe in it. Okay. And that's just wrong. And that people will end up listening to those people. And that misinformation keeps spreading, even though it is incorrect. It's been proven wrong by facts. They can think that they can say keto is the best, whatever, but it doesn't mean it's actually true. And what's actually like happening in real life. Doing my best to explain it here. I really hope you guys can understand that. I just, you need to always have evidence and, and data to back up your claims in certain situations. You can't just base your opinion and, and tell everybody your opinion is true just because you think it is. It doesn't necessarily mean it is. If it's backed up by data and that's the consensus in like the scientific literature, sure, that's a fact then. It's not, not, not an opinion anymore. It's a fact. Does that make sense? I, I really hope it does. Here's an example. Let's say you absolutely hate somebody. Let's say, let's say you hate Trump. All right. You hate Trump, but he's done a bunch of good things but you, you won't acknowledge them because you hate them so much. You'd be like, oh, that's not true, not true. But it, there's like evidence that he did those things and it's good for the country, let's say, or these people or whatever, but you won't accept it. That's, that's wrong. Like your opinion is overtaken by a fact because it's evidence is out proving that, oh, he did this, which is great. But you're going to be like, oh, no, 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 it's not good. And you won't even like look at the facts. That's what a lot, a lot of people do, especially in politics, really, really annoying. Uh, they do that in nutrition as well. They won't even look at the data and the facts and they'll just keep running with their opinion. They'll run with it forever and tell everybody their opinion is correct with no data or little data or cherry pick studies when there's a consensus out there that completely contradicts it. When you're trying to explain something as if it is a fact, but it's actually just how you feel. That's wrong. You shouldn't be doing that. And I don't like when people do that, when you're just explaining things out of pure opinion, when there's contradicting evidence to your opinion, proving your opinion to be invalid or not invalid, or you're always entitled to an opinion, but incorrect, but you can still have it. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, even if they want to say all the data is fake and made up by, I don't know, conspiracy theorists or whatever, you know, people will still do that. And you're entitled to that. Um, you can free thinking, free speech, all that. But uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you're, it is true. Your feelings are not a fact. Your feelings aren't necessarily true. Because if your feelings were true, they would be a fact. 
but they're not. It's just a way you feel towards a certain thing, uh, even though there's facts out there. There's evidence proving that, let's say, keto is not a superior diet, but there's still people that are running with that. They're, they're still pushing that narrative, even though it's been proven otherwise. And that's just like not what you should be doing. You need to look at the data. Always look at data. I can't stress that enough. Have a backing to what you're saying. Don't just say it out of straight opinion. And, and try and tell it as if it's a fact. You're always allowed to have opinions, tell people your opinions, but like tr when you're trying to explain something as if it's a fact, but is it actually your, the way you're feeling or an opinion, that's how misinformation continues to spread all the time. And it's, I see it so often in the fitness industry, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'll keep it short. I really hope you guys understood that. I don't know if I was just talking out of my ass there, but um, I just try to get my point across. I really have opened my eyes and learned that facts don't give an absolute fuck about your feeling. You can feel a certain way. It doesn't mean it's actually true. So I hope you guys are data driven, empirical data driven, um, science driven, you know, all that good shit. Uh, not just talking out of your opinions and telling it as if it's a fact because we don't want that. That, that. That's just not, it's not even true. Like your opinion is not true. It doesn't make it true. You know, it's drives me nuts. Anyway, hope you guys got some value to this video. If you did, like it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.